Back in the mid to late 2000s, the Disney Channel games were one of the biggest things going on for any kid. And I figured since the Olympic Games have just ended, I might as well talk about the only games that mattered to me as a kid. But before we start today's video, I have a special guest with me today. You might see him around a little bit more often now. Meet Nugget, everyone. Say hi, Nugget. Hello, hello, I'm little Nugget. He's eight weeks old, he's got razor sharp teeth, and he has stolen my heart already. And if you love little cute puppy videos, I've made a channel for Mr. Nugget called Real Nugget the Dog. Subscribe to it for all your puppy content. All right. Thank you, bud. Go down there and play with your toys. Oh, yes. Yeah, so the Disney Channel games were like the biggest thing that Disney Channel was putting on from basically 2006 to 2008. For those of you who don't know, it consisted of a bunch of Disney Channel stars from around the world competing in a bunch of silly, fun games. And the goal at the end of the day was that the winner would raise money for a charity that they were representing. But the thing that made this really exciting was the fact that all of your favorite Disney Channel stars from all your favorite shows would compete together at one time. We got to see people from The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody and Corey in the house take on people from Hannah Montana and all these other stars from around the world. It was basically the Avengers before the Avengers ever existed. And the biggest thing that drew me to it that year wasn't the games themselves, wasn't the fact that all the stars were there. It was the fact that my celebrity crush, Emily Osment, better known as Hannah Montana's best friend in Hannah Montana, was on the yellow team, baby. And in honor of yellow team, I've made my light yellow today. Now, yes, you heard it right. The only reason I was watching this was because I had a gigantic crush on Emily Osment. And it's not creepy. I was 13 at the time and I was just coming into my own as a man. And I find it so hilarious. The Disney Channel games were done to level 11 out of 10. Disney Channel wasn't holding back. They had an entire audience there. They brought the Jonas Brothers. They had performances from Hannah Montana, High School Musical's Corbin Blue. Everyone got their own NFL level fancy entrance running through a tunnel and then there's like a fog machine and their names are announced. Like that was literally the entire first episode. Bill Lewis and Brian Stepanek from The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody were the two hosts. Two guys that I think personally have some of the best charisma that I have ever seen in my entire life. So I am getting word that these stars are getting ready to take the field for our team introductions. Wait a minute, you're getting word? Yes. How are you getting word? Telepathy. You have, you know I have telepathy. Really? I swear. Really? Let's try it. Come okay. on. Try it. Go ahead. What, let's try it. What, what, what do you think? Yeah, okay. Go. Go. How amazing it is that we both, both have telepathy. telepathy. Crazy. Now all you need to do is have a bunch of dumb games and have all the people play them. Oh wait, the Disney Channel games have you covered. Wait till you see this lineup. We've got Dunk Tank. Hamster Ball Bowling. Hands Dunk Off. Extreme Rock Paper Scissors. Super Soccer Ball. Simon Says, hosted by yours truly, and much, much more. So the first challenge is a fun, wacky challenge. It's basically rock, paper, scissors, but if there's a tiebreaker, you then end up beating each other with each other's battering rams. I remember every time I tried this game, I fell off the platform immediately. It wasn't a matter of even being able to swing the battering ram. I would lose my balance before we even got to that point. <laughs> paper! Scissors Showdown! And really all that ended up happening in this challenge is that whoever leaned forward ended up losing or pushing their opponent off. And every single battle ended up being pretty anticlimactic. We got an epic battle between Dylan and Cole Sprouse. Sprouse versus Sprouse. Yes. Twin We're related. Twin versus twin. Oh, he's calling him out. Look at this. Yep. Oh, yeah. It doesn't get any better than this. No. And blue has one. Okay. Scissors reveal. Oh. oh. It's a joust. If green wins this, they win the match. They start it's off on. a little slow, but they're going at each other. Look at that. Oh, 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 oh. Cole's helmet oh. is coming off. Oh, but he's staying on the mat. Oh. And there you have it. Green takes it. Green takes it in the extreme rock. Paper, scissors. And then we got a Hannah Montana battle between Miley Cyrus and Emily Osment that ended up being epic. And roll. It's Emily Osment versus Miley Cyrus. I understand. Oh, oh it's a joust. joust. She's got one hand on the joust. What, what is going on? Oh, 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 oh. And she prevails. This young lady's faces. Scissors, reveal. Look at that. It's another joust. joust. Here we go. You see how Miley holds the joust and she Miley's jumps up not, and Miley's she tries to strong, grab on. She's not a strong jouster. No. She, hey, somebody needs hey, to talk to her. Explain the rules. Oh, in her hands too, but let's see who can prevail right here. There goes Miley. Yellow team takes it. Yellow. But Phil, yeah, her hair looks fat. It does look amazing. That's right. Emily won. And at the end of the day, Yellow Team ended up winning this first challenge, putting them in the lead overall. But here's where I have a major complaint with this show. Every single week, they had a fan vote online. And I was not able to go in there and vote because I was currently at my granddad's ranch at this time, where Disney Channel games was the only time I was able to relax and enjoy myself because most of the time I was just working on the ranch with the cattle. And whichever team got the most fan votes got 50 extra points added to their total. As you could see, this was probably a really 
bad idea because every single week the green team won the points. And this is going to play a big factor later on. The second challenge was an obstacle course through a bouncy castle. I know, they're doing some really crazy stuff here. Giant inflatable obstacle course. Wow, that's what I call double trouble, Phil. Ooh, it's kind of like us, you know, double trouble. <laughs> Am I in trouble? Are we in trouble? We're fine. This week's online points go to the green team. And again, Phil Lewis and Brian Stepanek are like the stars of the show here. Yeah, man. You got your license and registration? Because I own you. Oh, you do? Oh, yeah, you want a on. piece of this? You're going down. You want a piece of... Okay. Talk to you soon. Right. He's not even... Oh, I'm killing oh. him. Oh I'm killing him. Maybe just one, okay? Well, that guy looks just like Phil. Amazing. Corbin takes Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? Who's coming down first? It's Shin by a Shin! She's climbing up the wall now. Does she have enough strength to make it over? It looks like she does. And she slides wow. down. Emily Osment obviously won her race. I mean, what were we expecting? All right, here we are. We're about to watch the race. Emily's going. Here she goes. Emily's taking on blue team, but it doesn't matter who she's taking on because she is the bomb anyway. Oh my goodness, she's losing. She's losing. It's neck and neck. Man, this is the closest race that really was here the whole time. This race went down to the wire. And Emily's losing going up the wall, but then the girl in blue kind of messed up. And Emily ends up winning. Heck yes. Let's go, yellow team. You did it. You, were, you came out on top. How'd you feel? How'd you feel? I can't speak. I'm so tired. It's all good, Emily. You're the star of the show. You speak when you want to speak. Woo! Yellow team for the win, baby. The next challenge we had was dunk tank, which for me is really easy. I've always been really good at aiming a ball when I throw it. I did play t-ball when I was in fourth grade, so I'd like to say that I have pretty good aim. And that challenge had its fun moments. Uh-oh. Here I'm going to do a stiff competition right here. Oh, what happened? Oh. Hey, you might. You might hit the, the other side of Orlando. Oh, please. Please hit it. <laughs> oh, wait, he went in. Oh, bam! How do you like that, Phil? He missed and you went in. That That's so it's unfair. Rigged. It's rigged. Oh, oh, Lucas, don't fail me now. Lucas, please. And bam! Bam! You were extremely confident that you were going to hit Phil in. Uh, any, any story behind that? Well, uh, I did play baseball for six years, and uh, I just got off of the set of High School Musical 2 where I did hone my ba uh, my baseball skills. And then the challenge right after was Egg Toss, and that one was probably the most entertaining of all these challenges because literally so many people went so far. Feeling a little, little slow-mo replay here. Ooh, look at that. See, Emily. Whoa. Okay, Brian. Oh, Brian. Oh, my God. Brian. It's See who's left. Oh, look at She's her. She's actually cuddling the egg. Very, very upset. Beelin Koki. There's the replay. And, oh. Yeah, you can see she had a chance at it, Brian, and it just butterfingers. And Dylan oh, Sprouse. Look how modest that Dylan Sprouse is. But Yellow Team ended up winning that round anyway. But hold the phone. I'm getting word that Green Team won the fan vote again, so they're going to get 50 points added to their total. That's right. Green Team, go ahead and take your free pass, even though Yellow Team should really be in the lead. We got blessed with a dance dunk off where one member of the team would have to dance and the other member of the team would have to then dunk. Corey Massey tried to dunk three times and missed the the first two, I believe. So I want you guys to pay close attention here. This cheetah girl's absolutely nailing her routine for the dance part. So now all that Corey has to do is come in here after she's done all the hard work and do him an amazing dunk. So let's see how he does here. All right, he's lining it up. He's gonna dribble in between the legs. Little style points. Here he comes, and oh, he misses. That's awkward. Try again. Try again. You got this. Ooh. Okay, that's that's awkward. But again, I say yellow team should have been in the lead, but every single week, green team kept coming in with another 50 points from the fan vote. Yes, I totally agree with you. So finally, we get through all the challenges. It's a close race between green team and yellow team, but wait a minute, I'm finding out that this week again, completing a complete sweep of every single fan vote throughout every week, green team gets more points for a total of at least 200 bonus points they've gotten this whole time. Put green team on on top because the fans clearly are voting for Miley Cyrus. And who is our winner of the Disney Channel games is the Green Team! The Green Team! Congratulations to the Green Team! And now I would like to present this gigantic check. Thank you, Steve! 
Here you go, people! Oh yeah, it's green team. Green team's the winner. The real winner, if you take away the fan vote, would have been yellow team, who were very deserving of the win because they won almost every single challenge. And I remember that that result crushed me as a little kid. I was so pissed that everybody was voting for green team, and I didn't even get to vote once for yellow team. And then they revealed at the end, because it's Disney, that everyone's a winner, and everyone's charity is getting $25,000, and that's awesome. But we all know the real winner is yellow. Yellow team got robbed, baby. But all in all, the Disney Channel game games were a great idea. And I think for kids like me at the time, they were really, really fun. So what did you think about the Disney Channel games? Did you like them? Let me know in the comments below. Also be sure to subscribe so you never miss any of my videos. The algorithm has a pretty general idea of what you want to watch, so right here is a video on your screen that you might want to watch. You don't have to, I'm not pressuring you, but if you want to, go ahead and click on it. Representing Yellow Team, my name is Ryan Askew, reminding you to stay askew because being normal is weird and being weird is kinda cool. Till next time, all I have to say is bye-bye.